If your car's having a problem with its wiring, then stay tuned because today I'm going to show you how to fix bad wiring by splicing in new wire. Now it costs a small fortune if you're going to buy a whole wiring harness or even a sub wiring harness on a car. So when I find a short in the wiring, rather than replace it, I just cut out the bad parts and splice in new wire. And all you really need are two tools a wire cutter that has grooves in it to cut the wire at the right length. If you look closely, it's got all the gauges from 10 gauge all the way up to 20 gauge. The smaller the number, the thicker the wire. So 20 gauge wire is thin, 10 gauge wire is a lot thicker. And you also need a good wire crimper like this to crimp the terminals together. And these tools aren't that expensive. This ratcheting crimper, I paid 25 bucks for that. And the wire stripper, I paid about $14. And here's how easy it is to use. Here's a piece of a wiring harness and it's got a bad wire here. So we'll simply cut out the bad part, top and bottom. Then we'll cut off the end of the bad wire to see what gauge wire it is. And in this case it fits in the 14 gauge hole so it's a 14 gauge wire. So we'll get some 14 gauge wire and we'll strip a little piece off of the end so the bare wire is sticking out. Then we'll get a package of these butt connectors Yes, they are called butt connectors, so laugh your ass off. Then you take one end of the wire that you're splicing it to and cut a little piece off of the end of that so it's got bare metal sticking out. Then out comes the crimping tool. It's color coded. Blue is for the 14 gauge wire. Then you get one end of a bare wire and stick it in the butt connector until it doesn't go any further. There's a stop there. Then carefully stick it into the blue one so that it's just on the edge and you crimp it. If you look closely here, you can see the crimp. It's nice and tight so the wire stays in place. Then you get the part of the wiring harness that you're splicing it to and stick the other end of the butt connector in and push it until it hits the stop. And then put the crimper on it so it's right at the edge and crunch it. Ah! Now it's got a super tight connection. You don't have to worry about electrical shorts. Then of course you repeat the process at the other end. Then you just get the crimper and crimp that one down. And then it's all repaired. And if you notice, I put on a longer wire, because in this case, the old wire was a little bit too short and it pulled apart. So by making it longer, it won't do that anymore. Because in many modern cars, they save money when they build them by making the wires too short, and you need to make them a little bit longer if they have problems. And of course, if you have wires that go bad that have different kind of connectors, like this female terminal, you just buy a new female terminal, put it on, then get out the crimping tool, stick it in, and now you got another connector you can plug in. As you can see by my messy tool drawer, there's all kinds of different connectors you can buy to splice in. So the next time your car's wiring system is blowing your fuse, why not fix it yourself? And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com.